Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. So, <laughs> hey Reds. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my French Bulldogs and a little bit of information how to care for them. My other video did really, really well when I introduced you guys first to Bentley when he was a little baby. I think he was only like eight weeks old or something when I did the video. Then I did another video of Lila and that seemed to get quite popular as well. So I thought, why not do an updated version? I'm going to show you my dogs. I'm going to show you some footage of them playing. I'm going to show you guys some knowledge and facts that I've learned about them, like from having them. So, <laughs> that's like... They showed him you! So he's grown a lot from when he was a little baby. When you grown, you grown. He is actually really big for a Frenchie. They don't usually get this big, so I was quite surprised how much he grew. Hi, Bents. <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys some facts about him because I know a lot of people, they're really popular, like, um, like they're a really popular breed to have anyway. So I wanted to show you guys some facts I know about. Go find Snake. Go find him. So basically, Basic. <laughs> it's a snake. So Bentley is now three years old currently. He just had his birthday in September, and Lila is coming up two in March. So literally in two months. So she's almost two. And it's gone so fast. I remember like the day I got her. Like it was yesterday. He's being a freak. Bent. <laughs> They're such funny dogs. They make me laugh all the time. Um. This is what he does on a regular night, like That's regular fine. basis. I don't know if this is normal for other Frenchies because Lila don't do it, but yeah. So, um. <laughs> Having fun! Having fun! So, I love having my bread cheese. I got Bentley on the week, basically he was an early Christmas present to, for me, from oh. myself. Oh. And I got him the week before it was my birthday. <laughs> Oh, bless you. Oh my gosh, he's so clever. Like, I didn't actually realise how clever... Ow. Really? Can I say hi? <laughs> say hi! I didn't actually realise how clever the Frenchie breed was until I actually had Bentley. And obviously, Lila is actually really clever as well, so it's not just, like, a, a random thing. They're actually really clever, and they're really, really, like... They are kind of hard to train, but they, like, know what you're saying, and they're quite... Not naughty, but they're like, they're like sassy dogs where they're like, they'll do that what they want. Well, my two are anyway. So I'm really glad I got my two. They are a lot of work. Like when I was researching them, it says Frenchie breed is typically lazy. Um, I don't know what happened with my two, but they're not. My two are not lazy at all. Really? They're literally so hyper and they just want to play all the time. They'll sleep like if there's like a fire on or like the heating's on, they'll go sit by the radiator or something and cuddle up and get warm, they love that, like, Benz, he'll do this, like, the whole evening, because he wants to go downstairs and play, he doesn't like sitting down, <laughs> like, if you want a dog that's, like, really lazy, I'd recommend probably getting an older Frenchie, because, I don't know if it's just because they're, like, babies still, I know he's three, but, I don't know, like, yeah, my two aren't lazy, basically, so I, I tend to walk them for about half an hour in the evenings, I tend to take them on this big field, so they can just, like, run around and, like, stretch the legs for a bit so they basically wear themselves out they're really really energetic and i think they got more stocky you know like the broad shoulders they got even more stocky when i started letting them run like run free because i was really scared for ages to let them off the lead but as long as you've got like a dog or someone that you like you're confident with that you can do good recall then they will come back so so bentley and i do have an instagram i will link it down below and i will put like some sort of link here when you actually are buying a french puppy you need to make sure like their stuff like nostrils and stuff aren't tightly pinched because it can like not like encourage but it doesn't help with their breathing because they struggle with breathing anyway because they have short like little tubes would be naughty now i'm back what are you doing Shush, I'm doing a video about you and you're just talking over me. Look at him, he's so gobby. <coughs> you can't bark, they won't be able to hear me. Hmm? Yeah, when you're picking a puppy or an older dog, make sure like a, f a fair bit of space because sometimes I see Frenchies and their nostrils are like literally pushed together and it's like, how does that dog breathe? Stop. Careful! That another thing that actually really clumsy dogs. Come look, mummy. Look, say hello to the camera. Look. Oh, look how cute you are. Look how cute you are. <laughs> He's so massive. Love mummy. Love me. <laughs> also, another thing to look out for is polyps, which is basically 
issues with their ears. They're really, really prone to ear infections and Bentley hasn't actually had one, thank God, for now. But Lila really suffers with her ears and I've had to do all sorts of things because she's got like quite bad allergies and stuff like that. But Lila's actually had a few problems with her ears because her, her dad actually did have some problems with her ears as well. Yeah, and that's another thing to look out for because obviously their ears point up. They're going to get more dirt and stuff in them. Are you having fun, Ben? Ben needs to actually need to clean at the minute. That's a really good thing to stay on top of. I would actually recommend cleaning your Frenchie's ears at least like maybe every two to three weeks maybe just to make sure they don't get all that wax build up because Bentley's, you have really clean ears but you don't lick, like nobody licks your ears. So yeah, that's another thing to look out for. Any breathing problems. In the winter, be really careful when you take them out for a walk because obviously they're gonna, they're, they can't regulate their own body temperature basically. So if you take them out when it's too hot or too cold, they're gonna suffer and you don't want that. So just be careful, like don't exercise them too much when it's got like extreme temperatures because that's obviously not very good for them. Like you've gotta be prepared to pay like vet bills and stuff because they are like a breed that's prone to allergies and stuff like that you just gotta be really careful and just watch out for the signs read up on them obviously just so you know what to look for i've had a lot of like with lila she's quite an itchy dog but i'm not sure why i think it might be a food allergy we're trying to try and figure that out at the minute but yeah also i just wanted to say because i forgot to mention beforehand that when you're buying a pup or when you're buying any dog you should make sure it has all like the paperwork for the vets the kc if you're planning to breed it or just in general to make sure it's a good like comes from a good background basically because i've seen a lot of horror stories where people have gone to pick up their new puppy or new pet i know it's sad bents but they've gone to pick up their new puppy or the new pet and and they basically like they get the pet it comes home hi bents <laughs> how are you but yeah, when you're going to buy a pet of any sort, like make sure you have all the relevant paperwork and stuff like that just to make sure you're actually getting a pet that's like genuine and from a good background because sometimes they like import them, especially Frenchies. They import a lot of puppies to puppy farms and stuff and they literally just raise them in like the most horrific conditions and it's horrible. They end up getting sick really quickly when you bring them home. So just be really careful about that and make sure your dog is in a fit and healthy state before you bring them home just to make sure everything will be okay. You don't want any future problems or anything like that. Like if you can prevent it so just make sure you do your research and make sure your dog is not from like a puppy farm or some animal abuser that is just disgusting and using it for money so yeah that's another thing i wanted to add so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye guys bye.